Hey guys, welcome back to Walking Dead. Um, this is episode 1, part 5, so let's continue. Okay, so we got finished talking to Kenny, I remember that. Let's talk to, uh... How you doing, Carly? Yeah, Carly. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Uh, I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway... It has. I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Don't make me feel bad than I already do. The Jumatron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought a super dinosaur was well, too. want? But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Oh, come on. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I hope so. Oh boy. Wait, that was the end of the episode one? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. 
I never did thank you for saving Duck from the waters <coughs> back at Herschel's farm. Excuse Something's me. coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Excuse me. Don't Sorry. Worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us. Now we're gonna take what we want. There's too many of them. Six percent of the players lied to Herschel. I thought I was honest to him. I guess. I guess I. I guess I. I mean, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I chose Duck. Dang, I should have chose. I. I don't. Know. I. See, now I sound like a a-hole for saying I should have chose Sean. Oh my goodness. Side with Kenny. You and 54% of the players defended Kenny. Okay. Mercy. You and 47% of the players gave her the gun. And you and 48% of the players chose Carly. Okay, so. So from 30% to 54%. That's my maximum, I guess. Wow. Well, that was episode one. Can I skip this? Okay, yeah, I can. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Oh, well. Never mind, I guess. I guess I gotta watch this. Well, I mean... That's a good end to episode one, I guess. I guess. So it looks like episode two is gonna be even more even more difficult to handle but I mean hey it is what it is if I'd have known that this was the end of episode one I would have I would have added this to, to I would have added this to the last video that I made I, I really like this game though in all honesty. Wait, hold on. Can I go to the main menu and just choose episode 2? Uh. Okay, guys. I'm not going to leave you guys dirt um, dry, high and dry for this episode. So I'm just going to continue where I left off. And we're going to go to episode 2, Starve for Help. Here we go. The first video that I just made, or got finished making, was eight minutes. Was eight minutes in the in the playthrough. So this one I'm going to stop after I pass 17 minutes, and then that'll add up to about 25 or 26 minutes long for this video. So you guys will get more. So you guys will get more to watch in this episode. I didn't expect that episode to be so, you know, so small though. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. 
But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Alrighty. Let's see what we got ourselves into this time. Yes, I know. The game just let me know what I did in the in the previous arc. Great. Another bunch of another bunch of dumb choices to make. Oh. Dang, we just gonna start off gritty? I mean, I like it. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. And trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... Uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. So far, so good. I guess, I don't really know. That one, that one choice. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, if I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. I think that last choice that I made in regards to so, what's the what's the name, Lily? I think that had something to do with siding with her. But I guess we'll see. Jesus Christ! Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us! We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis! Maybe they can help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that! What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man! What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets! We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up! We've gotta help him! Please! Ben, shut up! My dad was Special Forces! I know what I'm doing! Just see if you can get him out! After that, you can leave us or whatever! I don't care! Please! Was he bitten? 
bitten? No, I swear! Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! There has to be a way out of this! Really bad. Just get Please, me out of something! All that blood is screaming! We're gonna be surrounded any minute! Please! Get me out of this! Please hurry! Get the chain! Come on, do something! Hurry! Uh -huh. Let's go, let's There's go! There's gotta be something we can do! Forget it! We use chain like that at the Air Force Base you have to, to get it out! You, you have, have to! Come on! Try something! Oh, it man. has to be now! I'm sorry, man. But there's no other option. No, no, no! Damn it, Lee, just cut off the trap leg! Anything! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go! Ah! Oh! Sorry, man. Oh. Oh God, there's so many of them. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Ah. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Yeah, come on, pick him up. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta come move! Come on, man. Really? These achievements, I tell you. Where did they get guns from? Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, 
No? Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, and shut up in the process, because you ain't doing anything. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Wait. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I'll give her... I'll give us some. I'll give us something to eat. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I'll give her crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah. Why don't we not get some food? Yeah. I hey, suppose. Doc, how about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! What is that? What was that? Oh, look, a soccer ball. What? What? <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. Okay. Your turn. Want Cause, something to eat? Because I, I trust I trust her. Have an apple, Carmen. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah. Let me see if Kenny, let me see if Kenny will, will want something, want something to, eat. to eat. Here, Kenny, take this. 
How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved, thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. They are. You're out! What happened to my food? This Dude, if you don't that. shut up. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. I swear to beans, if that man talks one more time, I swear to beans, I'm gonna... I, there's nothing I can do at the moment, He's but I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me an option to... I don't know. Watch him die or something. Best. I'm sorry, guys. But that Can't guy is a freaking... His leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I don't know either. It's killing me. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Hey, Ben. I hope you understand why I didn't give you any food. I'm new. I get it. It's fine, Lee, really. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I'll try and talk hey. to him. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Kanja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Hey, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't need, need any I didn't. The wall? Nope. I Actually, didn't, I didn't use your axe. You might I have didn't take eat it. it all either. Yeah, it took it was me that a while. Thing for a bit. I'm gonna give yeah, it to Mark, Mark because screw you. Thanks. Hey, screw I'm the you. one doing all the work over here. You, you ain't doing nothing, so shut up. No, on, you don't deserve it. Some slack. Because to because to be he honest, so. he probably like turn on somebody and 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 kills and kill um Lee. I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't maybe make it maybe I'm overthinking it, he guys. Lost but too much blood. God damn it! I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Kaja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, yeah, he lost a lot of blood um, further up the, the road. Kid? Anyway, man. Oh, what? No, not her too. Don't you dare! Get him! 
What's taking you so long? Goodness. Okay? What did he do, panic? Yeah. Thanks. And what are you looking at? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. You know, guys, Lee, it's why kind don't of Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. It's kind of I'm ironic how you. these two just suddenly showed up. So, uh, what do y'all think? When we was talking about food. You've got a deal. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm we'll a go anyway. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Don't know if I made a good decision or a bad decision. So this dairy, you guys really have food? But I guess we'll find out. We lost most of the cattle, soon. but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty But of I food. find it ironic how they was talking about It's nice to get away from you know, food. For a while. But this we were talking about food just, you know, just a couple seconds Personally, earlier. I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for it, leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you uh, from? How about not? I move around a lot. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to be truthful to these two. I don't trust them. Who's running I really things don't. over there? What? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. 
There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Why are you asking me so much? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. Well, they fry like bugs that's in one a thing. That's one We're thing that, 4, that was truthful, that thing. but I still Generators don't trust these ass. two. I, I really don't. I assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? God. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. Stop that asking me that. I don't feel now comfortable. That are here, we'll make as sure it is. You're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you, remember? Those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. 
It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So much has happened in this episode. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, I believe the video went has went um, too far um, ahead, of, ahead of time. So I'm going to end it. I'm just going to end it here. Um, so thank you all so much for watching this. Um, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe, uh, and subscribe if you're new. Also share with your friends and your family. And uh, love you guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.